I'm Amber Deegan and we are here live on the red carpet at the Santa Monica College Performing Arts Center for the Everybody Loves to Laugh fundraiser benefiting Harvest Home. Ditto. I didn't hear that. Oh, okay. I'll doctor it up a little. Awesome. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Who, where, where are we? Star Watch? Yes. Star Watch, oh. Star Watch Media. Now, there's not many stars out if it's me you're watching, but go ahead. Awesome. So <laughs> tell us about why you brought everyone together for this amazing event this evening. Well, um, my wife, was. I have to give her credit, she got involved with the charity first. It's a very small charity in Venice that helps out um, pregnant women, ho some of them homeless, some of them with no place to go, some of them who can't af afford what's going to happen to them, and it gives them support and helps them have their baby, get on their feet. And my wife just heard about it on a show, was actually featured on a, on a show, and she went down and volunteered, and she told me about it, and we just kind of, it's a very small place, so they, you know, it's hard for these little places to get support. And, you know, I just thought, hey, let's, uh, if, if my stupid jokes can help out, let's do it. And so, so we're here. Yeah, it's, it's kind of exciting because it's kind of the first one that, that my wife and I together have uh, kind of joined up on. Awesome. So how do your roles um, that you perform, how do they play a role in the inspiration behind this type of work? I don't understand that. <laughs> so the inspiration behind some of the work that you do and the yeah. charity events, how do those intertwine? Well, I'm, I'm inspired to do work that's moving. I mean, that's, uh, uh, it, that it doesn't have to be a, have a message, but it has to connect with people and, you know, with, with, with everyday people and, and people, we want people to relate to it. And, you know, these are, peop these are also the people who these charities help. So, um, you know, I'm very blessed. Um, I'm very thankful for, for what I've got and I get to do what I love and financially do okay. So it's nice to just be able to tell jokes and, and also help, help these people. You know, um, if my silly jokes couldn't help somebody, then I've got to do it. So in your spare time, what are you reading on your Kindle? I don't have a Kindle, and I hardly read. I actually am reading, but I don't have a Kindle. I'm reading um, a book called, which you don't know, and you should know for another 25 years. It's called Younger Next Year, and it's about guys who hit 50 and how they don't have to uh, become decrepit before they're 80. Uh, it's, a, it's a really cool, anyone who's 50 out there, there's a really cool book of how, how life, it doesn't have to be such a negative outlook from 50 to 80. Yeah, you, well you don't know, you're, you're, you're 12, the cameraman. Um, I'm also reading, um, Hank Haney has a book about, uh, called The Big Miss, which was about his time with Tiger Woods. And there was another book that I'm going to, it's called Father's Day. And it's about, uh, I'm going to forget his name, the author um, who wrote Friday Night Lights. And he has a mentally challenged son who's an adult, and he went on a road trip with him. It's, a, it's, a, it's nonfiction, and it's all about him connecting with his son finally. So I, and I, don't, I should get a Kindle, because it's hard to carry three books and pretend like you're reading. Yes. Well, thank you so much for bringing everyone together for this Look important here. event. Look who's here, Cheryl. Yeah. Hi! Fake hug. She doesn't really like me. Oh, real hug. Real, real boobs. Never mind. What? As long as you have it. Thank you.